Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at the Monopoly Deal card game. Let's check it out. Alright, here we have the Monopoly Deal card game. This plays in 15 minutes. For two to five players. Then you have property cards, action cards, money cards. Set up, you deal with five cards each player. Five cards. Let's say player two gets five. So you will be the first player to collect three full different colored sets of properties. On your turn, you're going to take two cards. From the draw pile, you just keep this in front of you, it's easy. Save two cards, and on your turn, you can play up to three cards from your hand. Put them face up in front of you in any combination the following ways. Put money or action cards into your bank. So action cards have a uh, money value. Lay a property card, just play face up in front of you, never into your bank. Play an action card, follow the instructions on the action card into the center of the table. So if you have a deck collector, you're going to want to put a property down first. Probably if you have money into your bank, or have any. So I'm going to play Pass Go, action card, draw two extra cards. Hopefully you're trying to get some money. Didn't get any money. What I can do is play deck collector. Force any player to pay you five million. So you wouldn't do it on your first turn. You'd have to wait until another player had like a property or money in their bank. So a player can't pay you the money, you have to give you what they have. So this would come over into my money. So let's just let's find some money here. So if they have the money, like debt collector, it's five million. There's four million, right? In this game, they owe you the entire amount. So they have to give you the six million they do have, and there's no change in this game. It speeds the game up very nicely. That's in the bank. So some of the essential rules will end in your turn. If you have more than seven cards in your hand at the end of your turn, discard the extra cards so you're back down to seven. If you have no cards left, pick up five, not two from the center of the pile on the start of your turn. Uh, central rules are here. Never put cards back into your hand. Paying others do not pay with cards from your hand. You can only pay using cards you've laid in front of you. Change is not given. If you do not have enough money in your bank, pay with your properties. So that's why you have a cash amount there. If you have no properties or money in front of you, you just don't pay. And wild cards act as um, so this wild card's any property. This wild card is for purple and orange. Complete your sets. So each time your turn goes around, you'll, you'll draw two. I'm trying to get a set of three. Um, 
I have a house, but I don't do not have a full set. So I can't play the house. We're gonna get to full set. And I have an action card I can play on top of the full set. So if someone pays the rent, you're gonna pay three million for the entire set. And then you're gonna, if you got a house added, it's gonna be an additional three million. So you would need a let's see if we can find the card. We'll do that. Alright, guess I'm gonna pay you rent. So you have these properties in front of you. You will play the action card rent. This one has all the colors on it. So they will pay you six million. There are some gotcha cards in the game, like Deal Breaker. Steal a complete set of properties from any other player, including any buildings. So player two, they can steal the whole thing. And if you have two more properties, then you will win the game. Vice versa. Comes on your turn. So hotels, it looks like there's no restrictions. You can just add it to any full set. And it's just one more million. So houses are three, it's also four. So keep going back and forth until someone has a complete set three. Two cards I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know. Is your reference? So definitely <laughs> quicker than Monopoly, that's for sure. And it has all the you know standard Monopoly cards plus the action cards. So Monopoly deal. This game usually goes for like five bucks, which is definitely worth it. 